Hello and um, good evening. I thought I would like to take a moment here to make a quick statement. I don't want to get involved in anything that is controversial that will have me cancelled. As you know, the world the world is has become unhinged. We have terrorist um, attacks right here in the United States of America occurring almost weekly or monthly, and we call them mass shootings. But additionally, we have the issue that just arose in the Middle East between the uh, state of Israel and the Palestinian people. The issue of Palestine and the Palestinian issue has been on the world's back burner for a very long time, and almost the people have been relegated to a vanquished people. And suddenly on the 7th of September of October 2023, the, the Arab people committed uh, uh, an act, a military act, against the state of Israel. Um, some people make it seem to appear that whatever the Arabs did was so evil and so cruel. Um, I don't want to be canceled. I don't want to be say that I said something that is contrary to my own Jewish people. What I only want to say is that with so much money that we have given Israel, with Israel being so powerful and so strong, for a few Bedouin Arabs who drink the milk of camels to be able to penetrate such a security and to inflict such a casualty on our state is something that we cannot take lightly and we cannot allow to go unresponded to. But we must ask the question, why did it happen in the first place? And why does it keep happening? And why with 400 nuclear bombs, we still do not have security? But I'm not here really to talk about the, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East, because I really don't want to get in trouble. I'm just saying there are fundamental questions that need to be asked about what's going on, because it does not appear to be what we're being told in the media does not look right, and what we're seeing with our eyes does not look right. Uh, so those people there, yeah, they say they were cruel, they say they, they, they killed children and they killed women. And we are saying also that when bombs drop from the air, 500 pound bombs, and they obliterate buildings, they also obliterate people and they obliterate children. So let us not be hypocrites. One of the main reasons I'm here really is to talk about my people. You see, I was, I'm originally from a Caribbean island. Uh, called Dominica, but my people actually came through to Dominica from Haiti, um, dating back to a man named Francois Macandal. So the people in Dominica every year around this time, they have something called Creole Festival. And all it is is a party, a fete. And just like the people were fetting in Israel, forgetting about God, forgetting about Jesus, forgetting about Jehovah, drinking alcohol, having uh, liquid sex in 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 the desert, and the enemy came upon them, and they weren't prepared. Same way, my people, where I was born, because you see, just because you're born from somewhere, don't make you there. But somehow, I have been getting pulled back into that arena and that environment. So I wanted to comment on it because the most important thing they can do every year is organize carnival and to organize Creole Festival. And my first experience with Creole Festival is in the year 2000, when I happened to be there on business. I don't go places for party. If I go there for business and there is a party, just like I ended up in Barbados on business, at the same time they were having crop over, but I never took a trip to Barbados for crop over. So I was in Dominica in 2000 uh, or so, and there was Carnival. I remember running into some people and I ran into an attractive young lady and she was of the age of majority. But her mother was upset with me because she showed some interest in talking to me. And her mother was upset. Her mother said, oh, why don't you go talk to that old looking Dominican woman there? She's in your age bracket. <laughs> you know, I look at that lady. You know, it's amazing how, how jealous mothers can be of their own daughters because now they've gotten old and they ruined their bodies and their womb to have that child. 
So that was my experience of, of Creole Festival. Then within that same group of people was a bunch of people from England. I remember meeting another woman who was mad and upset at her boyfriend back in England. She said to me, you know, sir, all of my girlfriends came to Dominica with condoms. I'm the only one who didn't come with condoms. So the gist of my remark tonight on Creole Festival and all the people that are there, uh, whether they came from Canada, the United States of America, whether they came from Britain, whether they came from France, whether they came from St. Martin, whether they came from Guadeloupe or Martinique, everything in that Creole, I see everything being advertised. I see Creole food, I see crab bats, I see crayfish, I see agu tea, I see manicou, I see smoked pork. But the only thing you all don't talk about is the tolly, le, le, lo, le, le, lo. All the music, all the songs, late at night you up, you're in the gardens and you're singing and you're drinking and you're talking about sex. But never in the advertisement do you put out anything about the tolly, about the lolo, and to let all know that the real truth about why these festivals happen, whether it's carnival or creole festival, there is a sexual component to it. <laughs> and that sexual component is, it doesn't even happen just at the creole time, it happens before. Because some women have to prostitute to get hair, to get nails, to get an outfit, to go out. Then even when the events are going on, you might walk past a tree and see a man and a woman like two wild animals having sex under a tree or in the tree or in the shaft cut or in the shortcut or in the road or in a car because they don't have accommodations. So let's be for real. Stop being hypocrites because tomorrow morning you're going to go to church. And maybe you had communion yesterday. I don't know. You might not be a true Catholic. But tomorrow morning you're going to go to church. But tonight, tonight, tonight you will be involved in lewd behavior, in all kind of behavior that is unbecoming of being called a lady or a man. Okay, so let's stop pretending. You need to, when you do Creole Festival and you put crab back on the menu, you put um, Kalaloo on the menu, you put everything on the menu, you also need to put the sex on the menu. You need to put the tolly on the menu and you need to let all those women that's coming from America, those that leave their husbands and their boyfriends and the men that leave their wife, and their girlfriends behind, that there is a need for tolling in Dominica, and there's the free flowing of vagina, international vaginas, vaginas from England, vaginas from France, vaginas from the United States, who are simply looking for a quickie, a quickie, a fast quickie, and make sure you walk with your condoms you can get them from Jollies. I think they have all of the American style condoms at Jollies. And if not, just fucking give that person a pregnancy so you can have an anchor baby. If you're a man stuck in Dominica and you haven't had a job for 20 years and suddenly you get some foreign pussy, take it, my friend, take it. Take that foreign vagina, intercourse it, impregnate it so you can have a child, you know, even the guy at the airport, the one that's the porter, I'm sure you all know him. He used to be in Canefield. His eyes is kind of crooked that way, and, you know, he's kind of a little weird. He told me he got two or three children in Switzerland with a white woman. So you get lucky during um, Creole Festival because these deprived women uh, of Dominican ancestry, they come there looking for sex. And we need to let that be known as part of the promotion of Creole Festival so that we can have a more successful festival, because that's all we can do anyway. We don't have any other types of leadership except in the organization of Carnival, the organization of debauchery, and the organization of sex. A lot of people stopped working early yesterday 
so they could get ready for the for the thing to do the thing so i'm telling you when you advertise squirrel festival don't just put crab bat don't just put maniku don't just put <coughs> aguti don't just put kalalo but put the toli lalolo bio bio lolo bio lolo bio lolo bio lolo mete lolo la i see uh what you call it on the menu mete lolo la si menu la so se fam la konat srayo vini pis yo to kavini professor yo to kavini le plus vous 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 fam se se fam la hot se place la kon sa La yo ka kite la me yo ka kite anglite pi yo ka vin e pi yo tou li ni on vie nom yo de ka koke jikta yo te an zafa e pi yo ka viwe e pi fe mem ba e la anko ou kwe ou ka kyone an moun e ou ka kyone ko ou ou ka kyone ko ou e pi neg la si neg la ba konet me e pi si madam la ba konet me e se 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 sa se fonti yo me me di Tell the truth. Zo kavini la, zo mai, zo pa mai, zo ni nom, zo ni fam, zo zo se nom kini fam, nom kini zafan. O kavini la po wese u sa koke epi alevi we o kadi se festivity u ni po se 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 is the band you wanted to hear is the song that you like. You think somebody stupid? You think you stupid? You need to put on the menu for Creole Festival Kalalo, Crab Back, and Toli. Bon Toli. <laughs> that will get you recognized. And the festival will always be successful because it's the women that have the money and they'll do whatever they want to do. They can, no man can stop them, you know. It's Creole they want to go, it's Carnival they want to go. Is back and all they want. Is new tolly they want. They will get it. God bless you, and the Holy Father blesses you. May your life forever be blessed.